Welcome to Torah in 3 Minutes. Today we're going to talk about leading a holy life. This Shabbat we're going to read the Torah portion of Bereshit. It's the opening parsha, the opening portion of the book of Genesis. It begins with the famous words, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In other words, this sentence says that God created both spirit and matter which clearly means that God is neither spirit nor matter. This also means that the assumption most people make that they have a choice of leading either a materialistic life or a spiritual life is false. There is a third choice, and that's leading a godly life, a holy life, which is a completely different thing. Godliness or holiness is not the same as spirituality. Spirituality can lead to holiness, but in and of itself, it's not holiness. Unless spirituality is a path to holiness, it can be as egocentric as materialism. There are spiritual people who are quite arrogant. They see themselves as superior to everyone who is not as spiritual as they are. Holiness, on the other hand, demands humility. Another distinction between spirituality and holiness is action. Spirituality can take the shape of being completely meditative, apart from the material world. Holiness means that you take upon yourself the task of living in the material world in order to transform it. There's actually a story that illustrates this point. It's told about two Hasidim, a father and a son, who were absorbed in studying Torah. Suddenly a baby The son's child, who was sleeping in the next room, fell out of his crib and he started to cry. The son was concentrating so hard that he didn't hear it. The father heard and went to tend to the baby. When he returned, he said, My son, if you don't hear the desperate crying of a child, what value is there in your Torah study? Torah study is meant to refine you to teach you how to help another person, to be able to hear the cry of someone in need. So, today I want you to ask yourself, what kind of life are you leading? Is it a materialistic life or a spiritual life? Or is it a godly life? And your exercise for the day is to describe how you need to change your life to make it godly, to identify one godly act that you can do today and to actually do it, and perhaps to hear the cry of one in need. I'm Rabbi Yisrael Bernath. That's Torah in Three Minutes. Have a fantastic day. Hi there. I just wanted to let you know that I just launched a brand new website. It's theloverabbi.com, T-H-E-L-O-V-E-R-A-B-B-I.com, theloverabbi.com, and it has... Um, lots of very interesting uh, things there, especially you can purchase um, a lot of the different classes and uh, lectures that I have given um, over the past few years. And you can also take a look at the current classes and lectures that I'm giving and the current events that I am doing on relationships. So I encourage you to go check it out. It's theloverabbi.com. Thanks so much.